by the mayor, by the chief of police, but for those who engage in opportunistic endeavors uh, to uh, seek uh, disorderly uh, conduct that leads to uh, any form of violence, uh, I stand today to say a word about nonviolence. It is the most effective way to communicate how to address injustice. And to the extent that we know and believe that and we honor the tradition of Martin Luther King Jr., may I respectfully ask those who are doing otherwise to obey uh, the instructions or the command of the police department to disperse and not to engage in opportunistic uh, behavior that does not that does not advance the cause of Trayvon Martin or his memory. And so we are here to say that obviously at the request of the mayor and the police chief, uh, we will do what we've done in other instances and initiate a citywide day of dialogue uh, for those who wish to come forward and address these very fundamentally wrenching issues about racial justice and the use of gun violence uh, in our country. That's the way that we deal with this, and that's the way that we are prepared to address it in the appropriate way, and we trust that those who think otherwise will heed this voice of reason. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Supervisor. Um, also like to hear now from uh, Council Member Bernard Parks, uh, who has experience not only as a representative of this area, but also as our former police chief. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mayor. I want to thank also the Chief of Police. I can watch this over most of the evening uh, on television. I can say that it's uh, commend the police department for the humane way in which they're dealing with this. Uh, it's unfortunate that some people have decided to take the real focal point of a tragedy off of that tragedy and try to create their own tragedy in the city of Los Angeles. What we should be thinking about is the family of Mr. Martin, the loss of life, uh, the tragedy of uh, a uh, circumstance that can be nothing other than wondering if it was necessary, whether there's changes that need to occur, whether there's issues that we can learn from in this city, but our energies today and the last couple of days have been chasing a handful of people who choose to be disruptive and to not voluntarily comply with the law. And I think it's important that the message that the chief gave a few minutes ago to those parents who give the direction to their children tomorrow and the next day, that they have to be compliant with the law in the city of LA. They cannot destroy property. They cannot run to our uh, stores, they cannot intimidate people, they cannot stand on people's cars, all the things that are visible images that are unacceptable in the city of Los Angeles. But we've gone through, in my tenure, at least two major riots. Uh, many of the areas that were burned and, uh, and have never re really recovered. And these are things that we don't want to experience as a city. We want to make sure that the message is clear that you can protest, your voices will be heard but it has to be done legally.